Hey guys, I'm Mark with the Oval RC, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the RC Monster. It's a radio-controlled 1 scale four-wheel drive monster truck. You can purchase this truck on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you guys. And if you hang out till the end of the video, I'll give you kind of my personal opinion on the truck, and we'll see who this truck might be for. Now let's take a closer look at the truck. Okay, so we take a look around the box, and we have a nice picture of the truck in the yellow on the front. On the back, there's a nice picture of the truck in the red. Side of the box tells you about the 2.4 gigahertz radio. On the other side, just shows you the chassis and the radio. All right, let's get this truck out of the box. Got our truck. And we have the transmitter. First, we'll take the cardboard off around the truck. Just add some nice protection around the wheels. And this is our 116 scale radio controlled truck. If I put my hands out, we can see how big it is. It's a little less than a foot in length and uh, about seven, eight inches wide. And the graphic on the truck looks pretty good. It's yellow and blue with uh, black and silver honeycomb graphic on it. Has four body clips right on top. We'll take those off. And the body comes right off. Now we'll take a close look at the chassis. The chassis is made of plastic. It's got a bumper on the front and rear. The shocks and shock caps are made of plastic. The springs on the shocks are made of metal and there is adjusters on the shocks. Feels like there's no oil inside the shocks. The drive shafts are made of plastic. Tires are made of soft rubber and doesn't feel like there's any inserts inside the tires. The wheels are held on with screws instead of lug nuts. On top of the chassis, you'll see the brush motor and the cooling fins wrapping around the motor. Just in front of the motor, you'll see the receiver and an on-off switch. That'll turn the truck on and off. On the other side of the chassis, you have a latch, open that up. That'll open up the battery hold-down strap. Put your battery down inside. You can latch that back into place. Just in front of your battery will be the steering servo. And this chassis does have a differential on the front and rear. And on the bottom side of the chassis, it's nice and smooth. And you can see the A-arms and how the suspension works. Next, we'll open up the box with the transmitter. We have a bag of parts. Inside the bag, you have an LED light kit for the truck. A screwdriver, which you'll need to install the batteries. A lithium ion battery. A set of batteries for your transmitter. And you have a USB charger. When you go to charge your battery, you'll plug this end here into the battery, just like that. You'll plug this end into a charging block and plug it into a wall or into a computer. And you'll see two lights, a green light and a red light. The red will be solid, the green light will be blinking. That means it's charging. When it's fully charged, you'll see a solid green light. Truck comes with an instruction booklet and a lot of helpful information inside. Next, we have our 2.4 gigahertz transmitter on the bottom. Looks like you have to open up the battery door with this screwdriver right here. We'll loosen that up, install the batteries. Our truck battery is all charged up. Now we'll install the battery in the truck. Truck comes with a very simple 2.4 gigahertz radio. With a steering wheel, turn the wheel to the right, we'll steer the truck to the right. Turning to the left, we'll steer the truck to the left. Underneath that, you have a trigger pulling that to the handle, move the truck forward. Pushing that trigger forward will put the brake on. Pushing it forward again will put the truck in reverse. On top of the transmitter, you have an on-off switch. Flip that over to on, that turns the transmitter on. And you have two trim buttons, one for steering and one for your throttle. And with the transmitter turned on, now we can turn the truck on. One good way to tell whether it's a hobby grade truck or not, turning the steering wheel slowly, you can see the wheels turn slowly. That means it has proportional steering. Pulling on the throttle trigger, you can see the truck slowly speed up. Also has proportional throttle. All right, we've got our battery all charged up. Let's put the body on and go test it out.
See, this little truck held up pretty well today, guys. We ran it through the water over some jumps on the ice, beat it up pretty good. No broken parts, although it is full of mud and soaking wet and everything held up pretty good. We got about 10 minutes run time out of each battery, which isn't bad considering it's freezing cold out here. I think you'll end up getting about 15, 20 minutes out of each battery. And I think that'll be just fine. This is perfect for maybe a small child, a birthday gift, inexpensive, something like that. Maybe somebody just getting into the RC, see if they like it or not. Perfect for maybe an indoor off-road track or a small outdoor off-road track. But I definitely like the truck and I'll leave a, a link in the description box for you guys where you can pick this up at on Amazon. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to join my Facebook group. That's the Oval RC. I'm Mark. We'll see you next time.